Hello world, my name is Paul with the Backyard Hibachi. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be making scallops, steak, hibachi meal. Let's go. Right, we got our grill up to temperature. It's going to be right around 450. It's got to cross the smoke point of the oil. I'm using vegetable oil today, which has a smoke point of about 450. So right now the oil is smoking so we know it's past the oil smoke point. What we're going to want to do now is turn it down and we're going to keep it in the range of 380 to 420. So I'll turn it down to about medium to medium high. Now we're going to start out cooking our eggs. Put some oil down for our eggs. And we're just going to crack the center of the eggs and we're going to spread them out like so. And on the other side here, we're going to lay down some more oil and throw down our fried rice. And from today I'm using a uh, brown rice mixed with white rice uh, it's been sitting in the fridge for 12 hours uh, if you want to know the difference between hot rice cold rice or the rice preparation in general I have a video and I'll link it up here right, now once our eggs are cooked on one side we're gonna roll them over into a nice egg roll like so Now essentially what we're doing with the rice here is we're just warming up the rice and getting it back up to temperature. And we're going to throw down some oil and garlic. So essentially what we're doing here is we're infusing the garlic with the oil. I'm going to go ahead and put some butter. Right, let's go ahead and chop up the eggs. Right, so you want to coat the, the rice grains with oil and butter before you add soy sauce to your rice. So we're just going to be mixing and waiting for the rice to get back up to temperature. And we're going to be breaking down these little grains. Or excuse me, we're going to be breaking down these little clumps. Let's go ahead and add some salt and pepper. Okay, yeah, that's looking good, so let's go ahead and add our soy sauce. Well, when you add the soy sauce, you want to go ahead and let the soy sauce kind of brown at the bottom. This will give you the most amount of color without affecting the taste of the, the rice and the garlic and the butter. Right, now that we're finished with our fried rice, let's go ahead and plate this.
All right, now that we got our fried rice done, let's go ahead and work on the vegetables, the scallop, and the steak. We're gonna throw down our steak, the veggies. Scallops. We're gonna go ahead and hit the scallops with some oil. And we're gonna put the steak medium there to the If you like to learn how to trim and cut sirloin, like the Habashi restaurants, I do have a tutorial on that. I'll link it somewhere in the description or somewhere up here. Things a flip. Yeah, let's go ahead and cut the sirloin, and we'll season it up and serve it. Just hit it with some garlic, some butter, soy sauce, salt, and cracked pepper. Right, let's go ahead and play up this steak. Give you scallops a flip. So for the vegetables today, we have zucchini, onion, and mushroom. I'm just gonna hit that with some, some butter, garlic, soy sauce, and cracked pepper. Let's go ahead and throw some butter on the scallop and the garlic as well. Add some cracked pepper. And the soy sauce. And the soy sauce, I'm trying to brown it before I put it on the scallops. And it's gonna go right on top of the scallops.
Now we can go ahead and add some lemon to that as well. You guys enjoyed that uh, steak and scallop hibachi meal with fried rice and vegetables thank you for watching guys until next time peace